Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education, more specifically Forex swing trading, using the TC2000 platform. Hello, this is the Forex Week in Review starting off uh, ending in the week of June 18th at 4 p.m. Central Time. And we're going to start off with the Aussie dollar, Canadian dollar. Uh, first uh, first part of the Sunday, we had two. This was previous week. No trade. Uh, no trade up here. Heikinashi below. First initial candle, second, and we are out at the RL90. Good trade. Aussie dollar, Swiss franc. No trade here. Initial trade here with a stop out. No trade above the RL10 kind of choppy RL10 here uh, and we're looking at a potential collapsing dragon which it's continuing to go down uh, comes back up no trade uh, this one was down no trade so no trade at all for Aussie dollar Swiss franc Aussie dollar Japanese yen beautiful trade here so Friday that was that trade no trade here um, this was below the RL10 on the Heikinashi so no trade here this came back down no trade now we and uh, we had initial one two and we were out at the Heikinashi uh, low here for initial trade but look at how this just continued to collapse past the Z3 uh, with additional weakness so this just exploded to the downside. As it on New Zealand dollar uh, we had uh, initial indicator candle here we had two and then uh, we were out with break even plus standard for two here uh, continue to go down we didn't follow it no further trade the rest of the week. Aussie dollar US dollar another good trade here uh, so we had that was Friday Sunday initial loss here on the initial entry part of the week we had this initial loss here uh, comes back we had a nice trade here with uh, right at the Heikinashi uh, Z3 here so a nice one two here continue to go down and continue to go right past the Z3 uh, so this is significant price action to the downside Canadian dollar Swiss franc uh, Monday initial trade here uh, came back stopped me out no trade no trade initial candle here this was initial candle right up against the RL90 it could have went to the RL270 here if you went into this trade I didn't like it closing below the RL90 so I did take this trade um, but I was out right at I put one indicator below which is right at the hump of the drag in there okay now Japanese yen uh, we had initial indicator here another trade uh, out for loss here initial trade here beautiful collapsed all the way down to this location and yeah, for a nice beautiful gain here so spring Japanese yen same thing just collapsed overall so we had no trade here no trade both of them below the RL10 uh, this was initial trade here uh, you were out for a small loss here one and then just collapsed all the way down here for this huge one two gain here all the way down to the RL270 but we were out at the Heikinashi uh, P3 uh, for this beautiful trade. Your Aussie dollar had yeah, initial trade here on Monday followed by a second trade. Um, I did not have the 200 as the target. I used the RL90. Uh, came in for a nice uh, quick one, two, three out. Uh, back over again. Um, if you took this trade, it was right at the 200. I had it as um, one indicator away and then ended the week with this beautiful gain here for a Euro Aussie dollar. Did not hit the Z3 on the Heikinashi. Beautiful trade. Euro Canadian dollar. Uh, this this was Friday initial trade here initial trade here out for a loss here on Monday came back initial trade here for a quick out on the RL270 was out for an RL270 came back down no trade here this was a gravestone doji here uh, or a hammer uh, anything above here uh, I went ahead and took as initial um, long to the upside and look it hit right up against the RL270 so that was a good trade as you can see here you have approximately five candles to the left of that if you have those kind of candles to the left it's pretty much a nice upward long trend euro British pound this was Friday this was Sunday no trade there no trade Trade. initial trade here for a loss 
comes back uh, initial trade here hits the Z3 for a nice one two out and then no further trade the rest of the week euro Japanese yen this was Sunday no trade initial trade here and you got a morning star so put that at the the low or if it, it's red you could go ahead and get out at that particular time um, either way comes right back down one two out at the Z3 or if you had the RL270 as your target uh, still nice overall game for Euro Japanese yen <coughs> New Zealand dollar uh, no trade here no trade week long here at this point short right up against the 200 uh, if you dig it in this make sure you're only one indicator away which it came back stopped you out uh, no trade here for the one two out euro US dollar uh, initial trade here out for a small loss came back and just was up against the Z3 I did not trade this British pound Aussie dollar this is part of last week of a one two three no trade here initial trade here second trade here and hits it's the Z3 at this location. So a nice one, two, three punch out. Same with the British pound Canadian dollar. Uh, Sunday, no trade here. Initial trade here with a, a loss. Then a one, two. British pound Swiss franc. Uh, initial trade here out for a loss. I did not go back in at this point. Kind of a reverse wedge. Came back. No trade here. This was a strong trade to this up with the Haganashi body above the RL10. Uh, initial trade here. Here and here. Did not hit the the Z3 excursion here at this high came back and a little less than break even. British pound Japanese yen. Initial trade here with a loss. Comes back. No trade here. Trade here for a nice one two out. British pound New Zealand dollar. Initial trade here with the loss. Came back. Nice long. Closed out the week with a one two. And it was a nice overall gain here. British pound US dollar. Here we had a, a one two three right at the doji. Green doji comes back with a nice entry here for a close out here for a one two didn't follow it the rest of the rest of the week past the z3 this was definitely a super pinch as you can see here all of the averages within this particular crunch zone here and just popped to the downside zealand canadian dollar no trade no trade initial trade here out for a loss did not go in for that trade no trade here i can actually buy the above the rl10 no trade looking at a collapsing dragon here and as you can see the belly here is above the end here so we have more price action to the downside zealand swiss franc weak short as you can see here initial trade here it was out another trade here out for a loss and no further trade the rest of the week zealand japanese yen initial trade here with a loss and i did not trade this is already at the z3 continue to go to the downside zealand us dollar that was friday no trade no trade no trade here we had initial trade here nice gain for one two out us canadian dollar just rocketed it up beautiful pinch here so once you start seeing these pinches here it's going to pop one direction or another you just don't know what it is you can set up your atr bracket trades in order to catch these gains initial trade here out no further trade the rest of the week US dollar Swiss franc this was a one two out or one two three punch out and then this was a low risk entry trade the Haikanashi body about 10 for a nice target at the 200 hit that uh, no further trade all passes z3 US dollar Japanese yen uh, this is Friday for a nice entry here however it did hit the low of this candle if you did not go one indicator below uh, if you go one indicator below uh, you got the hump of the dragon the belly of the dragon this is a nice one two three out we continued more price action even after this one so continue to go up no further trade the rest of the week looking at silver just a overall collapse of the price and the same with gold continues to go down and down with respect to inflation for some reason either the cryptocurrency or something is is pushing gold to the downside which means that there may be a substitute in terms of the cryptos for gold well, that's all I have folks for Forex week in review we're currently conducting a Forex boot camp and a Forex intermediate course if you're interested click on the link below and remember ruthless risk management have a great weekend everybody and have a happy summer and I'll see you on Sunday well if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button below and the subscribe button and if you want more information on TC2000, I have an affiliate link below. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.